I don't even know where to begin. I really don't even know where to begin, Dr. C. It, 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 there's so much drama going on this week on them blogs and web pages. Really, more than you even really? got time for. Yeah, more than you even got time for on your show. But I got I got some of it written down here, so uh, uh, okay. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm sure you know about some of it already. But uh, looks like looks like old Doctor Sanjay done got her a new sidekick. Oh, she does, huh? Now, yeah. uh, Ali Ali Mick or Mujik or whatever. He, yeah. He, he got. <laughs> He done got so dang mad at you last week for talking bad about him and making that video, you know. And uh, he, he went ahead and set up his own dang uh, blog site. But uh, okay. It, yeah, yeah. But before I get to talking about that, though, I, I gotta say something else. Cause uh, okay. I was talking about this last week. You remember? Uh, remember what I said last week about uh, about that other drama on uh, Sanjay's page and how. Uh, had his patient of yours uh, came in and said some good stuff about you, you know, uh, yeah. Win Lotto, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a- uh, remember I said I said well it, it it just ain't been long enough. They ain't said nothing because uh, they probably ain't had time though. But just just wait and they're gonna they're gonna read the Sanjay arguments to her. Well, dang if they yeah. didn't, just exactly like I said they would. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. First, uh, first they try to shoot her down with uh, with the yes, but yes, but yes, but yes, but don't you agree that it's bad to give false hope to tell people that they're cancer free when they ain't? Sanjay, argument number one, That's straight from that oh. uh, tabloid news story, really. And uh, yeah, but nobody and, says that. Yeah, nobody's telling the patient they're cancer-free. They're telling them the tumor is dead. It's a big difference because if they have cancer somewhere else they don't know of, that is obviously still alive. Word word manipulation, you know. Uh, Yeah, it is. Then she, of course, you know, she comes back and and, and they hit her again after that with, uh, well, ain't it bad when the patients lose valuable time believing a woman that they's fine when the cancer ain't dead. That's Sanjay argument number two. Now, now you know, lose valuable time. That that's a phrase that got borrowed out of the ancient Pinocchio scriptures. You know. Yeah. Go read it. Go read it. Lose valuable time. That come out of the Pinocchio scriptures. Anyway. Yeah, but uh, but the Pinocchio thing was that the patient lost time already by going to alternative treatment that didn't help her and may expose the tumor to uh, outside the skin. So they were things that happened before they even came to me. That was the valuable time lost. But anyway, okay, let's go on. But this whole, this whole thing, you know, it builds on itself, you know. Uh, yeah. uh, the same points keep coming back up. And then uh, the, next, the next point in the Sanjay argument, uh, it's, it's like, well, uh, uh, are you sure you've had cancer? Did you have a biopsy? A lot of her folks that thought they was cured, turns out they didn't even have cancer to begin with. That's Sanjay argument number three. Uh, well, that is really actually what happens in a lot of cases for standard treatment because they do early detection, early detection. That is something that's so minuscule that you cannot feel, you cannot confirm. Oh, the mammogram saw something, and so they claim to be able to do a biopsy and find it. If it is so small, how the biopsy finds it? And the statement is, well, we use um, ultrasound guide and we can, find, we can find it. Yes, but the biopsy needle is so huge that I don't see how you can pick up a piece that small with a biopsy needle. It's something so big that will push the t- tumor outside and push it out of the way. It won't be able to reach it and pierce through. So it's, it's an enormous amount of this information. That is basic physics, by the way. So it's just totally uh, ridiculous. But anyway, well, okay, biopsies, what else? Biopsies ain't good neither because they make them spread, right? Yeah, because if you actually had cancer, it, uh, it's... I don't know. Depends how many times they pierce through the the tumor, but it does it does damage the encapsulation. So if nothing else, it makes it grow. Okay. Oh, and then after okay. it starts growing, yeah. if it grows up, yeah. 
So that's what it's he does. A, okay. Right. Does this phone connection sound all right to you? Are you hearing a lot of static, or am I coming through all right? You're coming through. Okay, it's fine. Um, okay. For me, it's so so because it breaks up, but I guess the station is receiving it correctly, and that's what matters. Okay. Okay. That's Let's good. go. Right. Well, then, uh, uh, and, you know, this, this, this went on and on. Uh, then she, uh, uh, oh, Dr. Sanjay pulled out the old uh, old standard. I ain't no big pharma fan. I don't even vaccinate my kids. I wonder if she uses toothpaste and deodorant. Uh, uh, then she says, I'm... I'm against her uh, because people are dying because they listen to her. Sanjay, argument number four. Uh, okay. Next thing. Yeah, next let me thing ask I you. What? Yeah, go ahead. All right, that's okay. Next. I can discuss it later. Uh, next thing I've seen up there, uh, this, this, uh, this same old, uh, if there had been info like this on the web years ago, a lot of her victims would have never come. She pulled out Sanjay, argument number five. Okay, first of all, there are no victims of lasmating treatment, no matter how hard they try to say that there are victims. If you look at all the cases, the ones that are doing great are the ones that follow our guideline, didn't do anything else, and they are going on with their lives, taking uh, what we recommend to help flush out the dead tissue, and they are fine. Those, the ones that end up victims are not victims of lasmated ink. They are victims of the establishment because they go and get chemo and radiation, and then they are in pain, so they either die of chemo radiation or they die of morphine because the establishment works as God, and they say, oh, your case is so far gone, you're not going to make it, so we are making you comfortable with morphine, and morphine kills. That's what's up. Those are the victims. There are no victims of lesbian ink. Okay. And then, uh, well, because there's more. Uh, uh, then uh, oh, sure. eventually, uh, Sanjay argument number six come up because uh, uh, we done heard this before. Uh, go read the comments posted by her staff and tell me whose attitude is unchristian and unprofessional. Oh, oh Sanjay argument number six, it does come up again and again when they ain't got nothing else to say, you know. Okay, first uh, of all, religion and Christianity has nothing to do with anything, and I have patient of all religion, so and with different views. So Christianity is not the religion, is a private issue, has nothing to do with medicine, unless you're the Christian scientist and they think you can cure it with just religion, but obviously facts have proven that that cannot happen. So religion is not an issue. But if you look at what our staff answer are facts, 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 right. all they are. But if you can't rebuke the facts, then you go and you rebuke the person and you rebuke right. the attitude. You know, that's what I mean. Right. But, uh, right. But, that's uh, what then, they're doing. Yeah. But then finally, uh, 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 brought up Sanjay argument number Okay, seven. we got another break. Okay. We got another break coming up. Uh, stay there, Arnie. We'll be right back. Okay. All right. Okay, we are back from the break again, and Arnie has a lot more to. He said that he has a lot more to expose for us so let's go ahead okay arnie what else well one of these days one of these days i'm going to have a short segment here uh uh, no don't worry about it because (laughs) yeah once we get this thing to be legally stopped that's another story then we won't have that much but (laughs) that much of this and we can i was talking about i was talking about the sanjay arguments though Uh, uh, right and i was almost i was about done with that uh the uh i was on six and uh, finally, she brought up the, the Sanjay argument number seven, which is uh, she ain't no medical doctor, and people listen to her. This is tragic. It needs to be stoped. I think what she meant was stopped. But uh, She calls what doctor? Who calls that doctor? What did she uh, say? Well, Could you uh, Dr. Dr. Sanjay, the last argument that she had for her was uh, she ain't no medical doctor, and people listen to her. This is tragic. Oh, me? It needs, uh, me? It's, they listen to well, me? I, I think what she means is it's tragic that people listen to somebody that's not a medical doctor. Okay. Well, uh, let's go over this one uh, uh, for a few minutes, okay? First all right. of all, none of the patients that come to us, even before they come to us, 
are under the impression that I am MD. For heaven's sake, I do not want to be confused with one. I am a scientist. I'm a physicist. I admire nature. I study the universe. I cannot condone what medicine is doing, and I do not want to be confused with an MD, because unfortunately most of the medicine today is quackery. And why is it quackery? Yeah? I was just going to say, you ain't never never took a hypocritic oath, have you? No, I am not an hypocrite, and I never took the okay. oath. And I really was never interested in medicine since then. I was a little kid when our family doctor was trying to convince me that that's what I should do in life. I will be really good at it, and medicine needed me. And I said, are you kidding? I do not like medicine. I do not believe in medicine. Medicine is so far behind development. They're stuck in the Middle Ages. No, 